Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brothers and sisters. This is day four of the blessed month of Dhul Hijjah, alhamdulillah. I want you to think about something. Has this ever happened to you where you've thought to yourself, okay, it's Dhuhr time at one o'clock, let's say, for example, and I'm going to pray my salah when that time starts. But what happens is one o'clock comes and you don't pray your salah. You think to yourself, you know, I've got something to do right now. I'm at work, I'm a bit busy. I'll delay it just a little bit. And as you delay it, you find that another hour has gone. And then something else pops up, even though you wanted to pray the salah at that time. And then as the time goes by, in your mind, you're thinking, you know what? The time for Dhuhr is about to expire now. And there's only a few minutes left. So you quickly make wudu and then you pray your Dhuhr as if, as if it is something that you're trying to get rid of now. Now that is a trick of shaitan. That in the beginning you wanted to pray your dhuhr at the right time as a gift to Allah, like an act of worship should be given to Allah. But by the end of that time, because it's something which is burdening you, you now try to get rid of it by offering it in a way to suggest that it is like a burden. Astaghfirullah, may Allah forgive us. Now that happens to us so many times, isn't it? And that's something which is a problem. In these days, I suggest that you do the following. You know when you go into a masjid and you see the timetable on the wall, you have the time for the adhan and you have the time for the iqama. And when the iqama goes, that is exactly the time that everyone is going to pray their salah. Now, even if you're not praying in the masjid, brothers and sisters, have an iqama time for yourself. Tell yourself, even though I'm going to be at work, my iqama time for dhuhr is at 1.30. So I'm going to take my lunch at that time and whatever happens, iqama is going to go at 1.30 and I'm going to pray my salah. And in that way, inshallah, will you be able to offer your prayer, your salah, which is the most beautiful act of worship you can do, you can offer it in a way as if it is a gift to Allah and not a burden that you are trying to get rid of. Inshallah, I hope that that benefits you. And if it does, please share it with your friends and family. Also, blessed days, a great time to give sadaqah. Please remember the work of great organizations like MRDF who are trying to build the future of the Muslims in the West by providing guidance and also trying to create leadership within our community. Give a donation to them and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it. Jazakumullah khair.